Hi, it's Mrs. Griffin. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about equations and functions. Now, this is the type of equation we're going to be looking at. y equals x plus 2. Notice you've got two variables, y and x. Because we've got two variables, you've got an infinite number of solutions. That means there can be as many solutions as you can possibly think of. And these solutions will be ordered pairs in the form of x, y where x is the domain, so the values of x is called the domain, and the y values is the range. Now in order to solve these, what you're going to do is you're going to make a table, like this one below. You'll have an x column where you'll put in your domain. Your next column will have your equation, like y equals x minus 6, and then you'll solve for your y values, and you'll write them out as ordered pairs. So you'll be inputting these, you'll, these will be your output, you'll use your equation to solve for these, and then you'll write them as ordered pairs. After you've solved your equation using a table, you'll be able to graph it. What you'll do is you'll graph the ordered pairs from this column on a coordinate plane, and connect them with a line or lines, however it turns out to be. Now you'll have to answer a question, is it a function? There's two ways that you can tell if it's a function or not. The first is that there is only one y value for each x. So for every x, there's only one y. If there's two y's for some x's, then it won't be a function. Or it can pass the vertical line test, and I'll show you what that means. This is a function because if I draw a vertical line anywhere along here, it only passes through my line once. But if I draw vertical lines through this one, you'll notice that on this one it passes through three times. Here, another three times. So this does not pass my vertical line test because it crosses the vertical line more than once in some spots. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example. First we want to solve for the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Then we'll graph and then we'll decide is it a function. So here's our problem, y equals 3x minus 1. So the first thing we do is we make our table an x column. Then we have a column for our function where we write y equals 3x minus 1, our y column, and an ordered pair column. We're going to input for the domain negative 2 through positive 2. Whoops, sorry, too far. So we're going to put negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And we're going to plug these in to x and solve for y. So let's go ahead and do that. y equals 3 times set of x negative 2 minus 1. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 and negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So our first ordered pair is negative 2, negative 7. y equals 3 times negative 1 minus 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Our next ordered pair is negative 1, negative 4. y equals 3 times 0 minus 1. 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So our last or next ordered pair is 0, negative 1. I'll let you finish these two up, find our last two ordered pairs, click continue when you're done, and we'll finish the problem together. Welcome back. I hope you found that when you plugged in 1, you got 3 minus 1, which is 2. So you should have gotten 1, 2 for your ordered pair. And then when you substituted in 2, you should have got 6 minus 1, which is 5. So you would have gotten 2, 5. So these are our solutions to this equation and our ordered pairs. Now let's go ahead and graph. Here I've drawn a coordinate plane for you. Let's bring it up a little bit more. And we'll just graph our ordered pairs here. So we'll start off by graphing negative 2, negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 1, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, negative 1. 1, 2 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We graphed our ordered pairs, 
and now we connect them with the straight line. So each of the ordered pairs in our graph here ended up as a point along here. We connect them with a straight line. Now we decide if this is a function or not. Remember, we can tell one of two ways. You can either look and see if you've got a different value, of if you've got more than one value of y for each x, which we don't, and then we can try our vertical line test. So we draw vertical lines throughout and make sure it only crosses in one place. Because this does, then we say yes, this is a function. And that's all there is to it. So use a table to solve your equations, graph your ordered pairs and connect with a line, and then check to see if it's a function in either of two ways. And that concludes our lesson on functions, equations, and functions. So great job. Good luck with the rest of your homework. And if you need more help with pre-algebra, you can sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope to see you there.